So we're going to start with a pretty common um, grind beat. And all it is is alternating with the right and left hand and playing the bass drum wherever you think is right. I'm going to play the bass drum with my right hand um, this time. I'll start it off slow, then I'll increase the tempo. basically as easy as that, um, alternating single strokes with the hands, and um, it's just at a faster tempo. Now you can add the other bass drum in there, and you'll be doing 16th notes with the, with the feet. Okay, um, now what I'm going to do is instead of doing alternates with my hand, I'm going to combine my hands so they'll be together and um, use the same 16 note pattern with my feet. Um, there's so many different variations that you can do. I'm basically showing you the basics of these beats. I'm going to try to spread these around the kit now using the two different ones and adding one that I've sort of created. All it is is uh, alternates with the right and left hand, except that I'm playing from the cymbal to the snare. So I'll just go around and have fun doing these little blast beats. Grind beats. Okay, now you can, you know, basically do whatever you want as far as creating and embellishing these basic beats. Um, let's just try to use some little accents here and there. Let's move on to the blast beat. The blast beat, a uh, little bit of a trademark for me. use it quite often. What it is is right hand and left hand together. I do it a lot on the china and snare, but you can move it all around. I'll give you some examples. And the feet follow what I do with the hands, so every note I do with the hands, I do with the 
with the feet. Let's give it a try just at a slow tempo, and then I'll bring it up. You can also have fun doing different things with your uh, right hand or left hand, breaking patterns up, keeping the snare pretty constant. And you can also break up the, uh, the feet, the patterns that you do with your feet as well. Um, I'll show you some examples of that. All right, the blast beat. Different variations, have fun with it, create what you will with it. Lots of people ask me about um, the gravity blast or the rim blast. Um, this type of grinder blast beat is basically a downward motion. It's just it's a single stroke, and it's one hit, except you're using the rim and creating a rebound. Now, Buddy Rich used to do this a while back. A whole bunch of people do it very well. I'll show you the technique that you have to apply to do it, and then we'll try to incorporate it in an extreme metal drumming kind of way. So it's a hit down, and as you're going back up, it's the stick's hitting again. I'll do it again a little bit slower. So it's kind of the same downward motion as a normal grind beat. Now let's incorporate it, use fast double bass, hi-hat, and have fun with it. Have fun with your grind and blast beats and try to be as creative as possible. These are just the elements to start off and build upon. So, like I said, be creative, have fun. That's what it's all about. <laughs>